Welcome to Limor TV, the place to be to learn about money and get inspired to take small steps to improve your finances. While I'm not a financial planner, I'll show you what I've learned. In this episode, I will be discussing high interest savings accounts. Come on, this will be fabulous. overwhelming and so many of us don't really want to take the risk of losing our money, which is why so many people decide to put their money in a high interest savings account. High interest savings accounts are a good way or a good option to have if you have a very low risk tolerance, but you still want your money to grow. Generally, with high interest savings accounts, there are many kinds of stipulations depending on the bank and to be honest, they aren't always very obvious. Sometimes you have to have a minimum amount of money in the account in order to start earning interest. I've seen this amount be as high as $5,000. And in our 20s and 30s, with so many competing money objectives, it's possible to just have a few thousand dollars in saving. You wanna make sure that if it's in a savings account, you're at least earning some interest. Some savings accounts have stipulations on the upper end too. They allow you to earn interest up to a certain amount of money. So let's say $40,000. You can have more money in the account, but you'll only earn interest on the first $40,000. You also have to take a look at the fees on the account to see if it's truly beneficial for you. You'll have to consider the monthly and annual fees of having the account, as well as the transactions fees. This may also depend on how much money you have or how you use the account. Let's say for example that you have $1,000 in a high interest savings account and your interest you're earning is 1%. Each year you'll be earning $10 in interest. If the account has a fee of just $2 a month, you'll be paying $24 a year to only earn $10. In reality, you've just paid the bank $14 to hold your money. In my opinion, that's a pretty crappy deal. But trust me, this happens all the time. What if you have $10,000 in that account and you earn 1% interest? Each year, you'll earn $100 in interest. Assuming that the account fees are the same, you'll pay $24 in account fees and you'll actually earn $76, which is a little better than the previous scenario. There are savings accounts with no account fees, but then you have to watch out for the possible transaction fee. Often with accounts that have no account fees, the transaction fees can be pretty significant. Sometimes everyday transactions such as withdrawing from an ATM, sending a money transfer or using a debit card for a purchase can cost you $5 per transaction or even more. So let's look at another example. Again, if you have $1,000 earning 1% interest, you'll make $10 interest in a year. Let's assume that four times in a year you take out money either through the ATM or using your debit card. Assuming each transaction costs you $5, you've just spent $20 in transactions fees. Again, you have actually paid the bank $10 to hold your money. Trust me, this kind of stuff happens all the time. So make sure that you read the fine print and you understand the fees. This brings me to today's Tweetable. When it comes to savings accounts, the devil is in the details. Here is my challenge to you. If you have a savings account, I want you to take a look at how much money you have in the account and the interest rate. I want you to calculate the exact amount that you are going to earn in a year. Then I want you to take a look at the account fees and the transaction fees and figure out if you're actually paying the bank to hold your money or if you're benefiting from the high interest savings account. If you find that you're actually paying the bank to hold your money, then you should see if you can change your behavior or possibly find a different account that better suits your needs. Leave a comment below telling me what you've discovered about your account fees. Don't forget to access the free downloadable below at lemore.money to help you look into the variety of different fees that could be impacting the growth of your money. Did you like this video? Did you learn something? Subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. And if you want even more tips and tricks to make your financial journey fun and exciting, come on over to lemore.money and sign up for email updates. Remember, I'm not here to change who you are or how you live your life. I just have strategies to make you even more financially fabulous. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time on Lemore TV. Hi, I'm a savings account. Ha ha ha.